Good morning, so thank you for joining me. Today I'm at Cannock Chase again, so it's been a few weeks since I've been down this area and um, really I'm just come down just for a little bit of a point and shoot handheld with the Z62 and the 200 to 500 f5.6 lens and just see what we can get. I mean it's very harsh sunlight today which I mean it's better than a dingy day but I've just got to watch um, we're not getting uh, too much light on the subject basically because it can blow out the uh, the highlights can't it and you just lose a bit of colour as well sometimes so yeah so just uh, just a little bit of a point and shoot see what we can find um, yeah small birds really I imagine bullfinches um, gold crests and um, blue tits great tits long tailed tits you know the rest and um, so yeah thanks for joining me see what we see eh So as you can probably hear, there's a, a nice song thrush, I believe would be a song thrush, um, singing at the top of the tree. So I'm going to have a go and see if I can get him, uh, get it, maybe get a bit of footage of him singing or uh, a couple of photos. He's got a lovely voice on him. Could be a missile thrush, it's quite big. We'll see I guess when we get to take some photos. It's difficult to see at the moment. It's actually a really nice morning to be honest. I mean it's bright. It's nice to have a bright day in the you know when it's late winter. It's um it's quite nice so uh, I'm not gonna uh, go too mad. I think we've got some harsh light today but yeah so it's just a nice nice to get out and about when it's dry and it's very still as well which is nice. It's not windy or anything so yeah it's just a nice uh, Nice place to come and walk in the morning, Cannock Chase as well. It's you know, there's so many different areas you can come to. This is around uh, kind of the Milford area, I'll give you a clue. So, yeah, it's just an area that I always come to anyway. It's, it can be pretty good for bullfinches when it gets to um, uh, kind of that uh, May times, April time. I think there's one thing to keep in mind when you are out just pointing and shooting in like a local area or literally anyway if, you, if you're just on a point and shoot you've got limited time I think it's worth just literally sometimes just stop and take a moment and see what while you're stationary and kind of out of the way just see what's moving around you because oftentimes things will present themselves if you just stand there whereas if you just walk through oftentimes you're just disturbing stuff anyway and it's just buggering off kind of thing so it's worth just literally standing there, crouching down, whatever, and take it in. And it also, if you listen, you can hear so much, so many different species of birds singing in the background that I can hear a chaffinch in the background, I can hear a blue tick calling. I heard a song thrush a minute ago. So you can literally locate stuff if you just stand and listen and literally just head in that direction. They're clearly singing on a on a perch, 
oftentimes they're not that bothered if, they, if they're singing their hearts out they're not that bothered they're looking for mates and they're literally tolerant of you because they, they know they're going to attract attention because they're already singing on on a, on a post or a perch so it's just worth just stopping and listening and it might give you some ideas on where things are and might give you the opportunity to take some good footage and photos you know So I've actually just been using the method. You can probably hear in the background, I'm really close to that chap inch now. Yeah, so you can hear him singing. Um, I just used that method that I was talking about, where was, I've literally just heard him in the background from when I filmed that part of the video. Um, and just thought, right, let's go in that direction. And just go and find him. And he's literally, as I said, on, on a high post in the tree, in a hawthorn tree singing his heart out and he's, he's very tolerant so you can hear him now he's still singing in the background I'm only probably 30 feet from him now but he's at the top of the tree so it's an awkward angle to video but um, he was lower down a second ago from that video um, so yeah it, it just shows that this time of year is a good time of year because there's no leaves on the branches but they're in that spring mode but you haven't got the spring leaves blocking your vision so it's a good time to take advantage of that and, and basically um, let the behaviour give you an advantage on getting that photo. So, yeah, and it's lovely to just see them singing, especially at Chaffinch, because you don't see you don't see too many Chaffinches about anymore. It's a shame, really. But um, he was a nice male singing on top of that tree. So, yeah, hopefully I can get some more footage. Right, so that was nice. I just had a little, um, got a bit lucky there. I had a little bit of a moment with a couple of bullfinches. I thought I'd just come back then. Um, and yeah, a couple of female bullfinches. Obviously, not as brightly coloured as a male, but you can. This was the area I was looking, so. They were nibbling on a bit of that heather over there. I mean, there's plenty of heather about here. They obviously like the, also like the seed heads and stuff, so. Yeah, they were just um, kind of jumping across that, and. Um, I thought there was only the one to begin with, but another one kind of jumped in, so yeah, it was a nice, um, nice little moment. I was kind of just sitting there waiting for them, really, because it's it's a nice little secluded area. Although it's a popular place to walk past, it's kind of. It's a little bit off the beaten track, so it's. I kind of just sat here knowing something eventually would turn up, and yeah, so there was a nice little great tick um, perched nicely for me, and, um, and then the bullfinches, which is a nice one. I do know they're in this area, so it, it's a dependable area for me to, to keep coming to. It would have been nice to get a, get a male, but I think bullfinches seem very difficult to get close to, from my experience anyway, so um, it's just about getting lucky down the line at some point and just getting I really want to get that nice killer photo of a, uh, of a bullfinch because there's not many birds that look better than that especially out of our small birds and I mean they're reasonably common they're just they're quite difficult to they, know, they never hang around long they're always on the move so yeah it was just nice to see them really So I've actually just come across, um, somebody's put a fat ball feeder in a tree and um, basically we've um, seen a load of great tits and um, 
blue tits and long tailed tits especially were up hanging off it so um, I thought I'll stop and have a little video of that. It hasn't been good for stills really because um, they don't they were going straight onto the feeder and weren't really hanging about you know what they're like they're so quick so yeah I've just put a little bit of footage um, got a little bit of footage on the camera so I'll stick that on the screen for you now it makes for nice footage really really close so yeah nice So I think that's me done for the day now. So um, it's about, it's getting up to midday. So it's still sunny, it's gonna be sunny all day, but it's getting quite busy up here now. It's quite a popular area of the chase. So um, I've done okay, I feel. I, th I think I've done a lot of more video than photos, just because the behavior of the birds seem to warrant taking video and um, the conditions as well. It's quite bright and I think the video will have fared better. So. Um, yeah, we've seen bullfinches, gold crests, song thrushes, uh, long tailed tits, and uh, yeah, so I don't think we've done too bad. I think we've seen a few things, and obviously not breaking too many barriers with um, what images we've got, but um, yeah, it's just been a nice little point and shoot exercise really today. So um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe, and um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.